Today I'm starting a series of uh, videos about uh, vectors in assembly language. Uh, this is part one of this series, so I'm just going to speak a bit about uh, how vectors are created, initialized, displayed in assembly language. So, first of all, uh, in order to allocate uh, space for a vector, uh, you can use uh, something like this. So I'm declaring 32-bit uh, uh, values for storing floating point 32 bits, uh, and I'm um, storing uh, 10 such values, and memory will be filled uh, with zero. And the vector size uh, in this case is uh, the number of uh, bytes uh, divided by 4. So this will be the number of elements uh, in this vector. Now uh, I've written uh, two methods here, two procedures. Uh, one is to initialize a vector with a float32 number. So it takes in EAX uh, the number, in RCX the vector size, and in RDI uh, the vector address. So what it does, it uh, simply uses uh, rep uh, D. Uh, so this will um, repeat uh, until RCX gets to zero. Uh, the store uh, instruction, which actually stores the number in EAX uh, in the address indicated by RDI, and it will also uh, increment uh, RDI. So this is pretty straightforward. And uh, a second uh, procedure, write a vector to console. And again, in RDI uh, is the vector address, and in RCX the vector size. Uh, it starts again by pushing uh, the registers that will be uh, modified. Uh, of course, at the end, this will be uh, restored, and the actual function is uh, here, uh, where uh, I'm uh, using the already implemented uh, flow32 to string function. This was in a previous video, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, and uh, OS console write, uh, which again depends on the operating system. I have uh, videos on how to implement this in Linux, Windows, and in this case, I am uh, on a Linux machine. Uh, so, uh, it's again quite straightforward. Um, RDI is incremented after each uh, uh, displayed value. Uh, and uh, it loops until uh, RCX gets to zero. Uh, and I have here a temporary buffer. Uh, which will hold the representation and also it ends with a new line so that here when it is displayed there will be one value per line. So let's see how these functions are used. Uh, again a very simple program. Uh, I'm um, setting RDI to the address of the vector in RCX, the size. Uh, again, I've already shown how these are set up here. Uh, then uh, RAX is uh, zeroed. In EAX, I'm uh, setting 5.25. In NASM, uh, you must use this uh, macro uh, in order to uh, transform 5.25 uh, to an appropriate uh, floating point 32 representation, uh, and then I'm calling uh, the vecnit function, and then I display a message here, vector equals, you can see it down here, 
And finally, I'm calling uh, the console right, uh, which you just saw, which displays uh, the vector values. And finally, uh, exiting to the operating system. Um, so let's build and let's test it. So you can see it here. Uh, we have uh, 10 values, uh, which are all 5.25. Because we call the vector initialization with uh, this value. So please uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more uh, vector operations in assembly language. Bye.